who is blocking the McDonald Mariga Kibra candidature and why. In recent Kenyan political history, no single candidate has had their candidature being so opposed as that of McDonald Mariga. The former footballer is having to jump over many hurdles just to be on the ballot for the Kibra by election slated for 7 November 2019. It is believed that the opposition to his candidature is orchestrated by the Kiloweke wing of the same Jubilee party whose ticket he is vying on. It is not a coincidence that the leader of the Group 1 Mena commander has openly come out to support the ODM candidate Imran Okath for that seat. That was the reason that he went to see ODM leader Rayla Odinga a few days ago. Although he stated that he was speaking for himself not for the Jubilee party, many were able to read between the lines. If you know a bit about Commander then you would not be surprised by the numerous litigations that Mariga is facing. Mena Commander is a controversial politician per excellence. A notable case was the one Bishop Margaret Wanjiru was accused by a Mr. Kamangu of being his wife and neglecting him back in 2007. This had been orchestrated by Commander who was then vying for the Stare seat against Bishop Wanjiru. This new development has put the spotlight on the ruling party Jubilee since there have been rumors that Rayla Odinga is trying to break up the party. This is what William Ruto and the Tangatanga wing have been saying for some time now. Well, let us look at the chronology of events in the case of Mariga to help us understand better. Rumors of a Mariga candidature on a Jubilee ticket started circulating at the end of August. A disputed letter that had been submitted to the IEBC listing Mariga's name alongside four other aspirants was disowned by Jubilee Secretary General Rafael Tuju amid claims Ruto's camp was pushing for his candidature. At least 16 other aspirants were seeking the ruling party's nod for the Kibra seat at the time. However, later Mariga was unveiled as Jubilee's Kibra candidate at the party headquarters. His entry into the Kibra race triggered behind-the-scenes infighting pitting President Uhuru Kenyatta's allies against those of the deputy president. On the day of presenting his nomination papers, the IEBC returning officer rejected Mariga's nomination for Kibra by-election on grounds that his details were not in the voters' register. Mariga appealed the decision with the Commission's Disputes Resolution Board and won. Immediately after that ruling another case was filed before the political party's dispute tribunal seeking to stop Mariga's candidature. This case was filed by Morris Peter Kenyon Dewey claiming that the Jubilee Party had failed to conduct nominations in line with its constitution. The political party's dispute tribunal dismissed the case arguing that it had no jurisdiction to hear and determine the matter. It was a sigh of relief for the Mariga camp. At this time, President Uhuru Kenyatta endorsed Mariga as the Jubilee candidate. This was however short-lived since another Jubilee voter Lena Conchala has filed another case in the High Court. Lena is challenging the legality of the nomination of McDonald Mariga as Jubilee's candidate in the Kibra by-election citing erroneous process in verifying his voter status. Lena states in the petition, this decision violates the Article 99 and B of the Constitution in that it has enabled Mariga, who is not a registered voter and has questionable integrity to participate in the said by-elections. She is therefore seeking conservatory order to stop the printing of ballot papers stating that failure to act as such will only infringe on voters' rights and contravene the law. Article 99 talks about qualifications and disqualifications for election as member of parliament. Part A reads, is registered as a voter, Part B reads, satisfies any educational, moral and ethical requirements prescribed by this constitution or by an act of parliament. Lena has further said Mariga's ID indicates that he was born in April 1987. However, his KCSE exam papers indicate that he Saturday the exams in 2002, meaning he completed high school when he was age 15. It therefore, means that Mariga enrolled in class 1 at the tender age of 3 years. This can only lead one to conclude that he was either a genius at primary school level which genius abandoned him at the secondary school level for him to get a deplorable mean grade of D-, the petitioner argues. We await to see the decision of the court on this matter. As all this is going on, many are now in agreement that Rayla Odinga has the backing of the Kiloweke wing of Jubilee. Listen to this speech by John Mbadi, ODM chairman.
kip. Hii ndiye chama peke yake nchi hii. Na jubilia wana candidate hapa. Hii ni jubili bandia inaitwa Tanga Tanga. Umeona chama ya uhuru kinyata wameleta mtu hapa? Na mtaona watu wa jubilii ya ukweli, real jubilii watakuja hapa kupigania kupiga, kupiga debe kwa yule Imran Okot. Kwa hivyo hii jubilii Tanga Tanga tunataka waambie kibira si kwao. Kibira ni kwetu, kibira ni bedroom ya baba. Bra has been named Raila's bedroom. For that reason everything must be done to make sure that Raila and ODM don't lose the Kibra seat since this would be a big blow to Raila's political base. What is interesting is that so far the Tanga Tanga wing of Jubilee has not gone to campaign for Mariga yet it is claimed that he is in that camp. This is one of Mariga's campaign meetings. Could <laughs> Kama mtu anauza sukuma ya elfu mbili tatu yongezo ikuwa elfu kumi. Yes! Kwa kwa yongezo vizuri. Yes! Wazee pia wetu wa siwachi wa nyuma. Yes! Lazima pia biashara zote zifanyo poa. Yes! Alafu mavijana hakuna job. Lazima job pia kwa vijana itafutwe. Yes! Wale, wale wamejiandika job. Tujaribu tuwe mpawa hizo vitu zao. Kama ni kaos tuweke mashini poa poa. Yes! Kama ni tuk tuk ziongezwe. Yes! At least mavijana wa kwa kwa sawa. Yes! Eh. Sasa mimi nawashukuru kwa kila kitu na washukuru vile nimekuja hapa kuwatembelea. Nataka isikuwe siku ya mwisho. Nataka tukiona na kila siku. Ofisi yangu nataka ikuwe ni watu, hakuna cha ofisi. Bodyguard zangu ni mabijana wa mtaa wa mama na wazee. Hatitaki mambo ya bodyguard. Tunataka biashara zikifanywa hakuna kusumbuliwa. Kila mtu anafanya biashara mpaka sasa ile anataka bila wasiwasi yoyote. This be a strategy by the Tanga Tanga group. Is the deputy president really the one behind the Mariga candidature? We will be following this very closely since this by-election has more to do with the 2022 succession than people are being led to believe. In short, Mariga is a victim of the Kilaweke and Tanga Tanga supremacy battles with ODM cheering on. By the look of things, this battle is far from over. Stay tuned for more updates. Subscribe, like and share this channel. Hit the bell button to get notified when we release new videos.